If you remember way, way back, if you've been with us long enough, this is a very special someone to me. If you don't know who this is, go back and check our top five best baseball movies. But if any of you haven't seen that, which if you haven't seen it, just click right here. Give us a little refresher of to who you are. Um, I'm Heather. You actually got a little bit of a job upgrade since the last <laughs> video that we did. Just for clarification, I believe your title was girlfriend yeah. in that video. What What's your title now? Oh, fiance. <laughs> Over the weekend, we got a chance to see the Peanuts movie, and it was a movie that both of us were really looking forward to a lot this year. Now, the, why was why were you so excited for the Peanuts movie? It just looks so good. It looks so much like the original, but just um, more. Just cleaner, I guess? Yeah. And newer. Yeah. Like, it got a facelift, I guess. Yeah, brighter. Yeah. That, brighter. Yeah, I think that's the right mm -hmm. word for it. Not that the originals were yeah. dark, but they were indicative of their time, I think. Mm -hmm. And so we got to see it. We were both, we're not diehard Peanuts fans, I don't think, but we thoroughly enjoyed it. And I think it's a Christmas, not, well, Christmas tradition for uh, the Christmas one. And then for me, it's a tradition to watch this. Uh, Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, every October-ish. Mm -hmm. So we saw it, and our initial thoughts were, it was good. It was pretty good, yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was true to what the Peanuts were. Mm -hmm. Now, what I liked most about this, and we, you and I talked about this, was it felt like the originals, just newer. What do we mean? Well, it was just updated. Um... It was, it was everything you could have remembered from the past, from the old cartoons, but everything was just more um, for this time, a little bit. Um, not yeah. so much with like, technology, but we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that in a little bit, but everything, it felt very much like the peanuts that you knew and loved, just, I wouldn't even say in a modern setting, because if you told me that it was set in their original timeline, then I would still believe it, it just... Yeah. It still had that original art style of the of the original hand drawn stuff, just newer and fresher. Like, I have not been a fan of Blue Sky, the studio that made this movie up till this point. They were the ones that did the great Ice Age movies and all those scrat animated movies before all the Ice Age movies. Which unfortunately, there's one of those, which we really didn't know what we were watching when. <laughs> That came out, but they pleasantly surprised me in this one because they recreated the peanuts so perfectly And I think one of the strongest elements of this is the little kids that they got to voice all the different peanut characters What did you think of the, all the voice actors? They sound exactly like the original. It was unbelievable mm -hmm. it was like, So cool. I thought the best one for me was Linus. Like, yeah, Linus sounded exactly like the original Linus to this day, he's still probably my favorite of the Peanuts. But it was just an overall fun movie. Just really, it's probably one of the best family movies of the year. I haven't looked at the whole list, but it's probably one of the better ones out there. Now, we took this as a positive and a negative that there's a lot of references to the original Peanuts cartoons and shorts. Mm -hmm. At times it's good, other times it feels very forced. Like, what were some examples that you could think of? Um, they said something about the It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. I mean, that's it's clever, yeah, but, but it's it, a little too much. It's like story, story, obvious reference, story, story, story. It just kind of interrupted the flow, and it had a pretty mm -hmm. good flow for the most part, but there's one thing in particular that really stunted the flow of the story, and that was the Red Baron, because if you're going to have a Peanuts movie, you need the classic story of Snoopy versus the Red Baron. So, Heather, what did we mean by the Red Baron in this movie? Well, Snoopy was trying to fly, or pretending to fly, on his doghouse. Um, and then there's a storyline that throughout the movie it talks about him flying to find something or someone. Yeah, which at first that sounds really cute and fun, and it was, but every, after a little bit, it just goes back to that default thing. Like, there's two stories going on, the one with Charlie Brown, mm -hmm. and then the one with Snoopy, which the one for Snoopy, you're like, this is fun, 
But the thing is, with all the original car Charlie Brown cartoons, Snoopy's versus the Red Baron in every episode was about five minutes, and that was about it. That was the s it for Snoopy solo. But this they kept going back to, and I don't know if that's because Snoopy's such a beloved character now, mm -hmm. but, like, it was cute and incredibly well animated. I thought that was some of the best anime yeah, stuff was when, he's, when he was flying on a house. But they kept going back to it, and I was just like, can we kind of get back yeah. to the Charlie Brown story, as depressing as it may be? And that's also kind of another negative that we had. What, what do we mean by Charlie Brown having some negatives? Well, um, they were already, they kind of put him down a lot. And, I mean, I know he's just kind of like the average kid, but they didn't really boost his self-esteem, and I didn't like that. Yeah, like, part of the charm and character of Charlie Brown is he's always the good guy no matter what, and he's the cheerful loser, I yeah. guess. Like, he's got all this bad stuff that happens to him, yet he keeps his chin up. But this one is just like... Every time you think he's about to catch a break, something bad happens. At some point, so it's just like, seriously, just let him have this one. He deserves it after all of this. Mm -hmm. He eventually gets some happiness, but it, it wasn't the payoff that he deserved at the end. No. Not dipping like anywhere near spoilers, but it was just, it was a good ending, but not as happy as I would have liked it to be. Right. It was a right. charming ending. So, Heather, overall, what would you give the Peanuts movie out of 10? Um, probably like an 8 or 8.5. Yeah, I think it's somewhere around there. It's really heartwarming. It's a good family film. Probably for this Thanksgiving holiday, yeah. I'd recommend seeing Peanuts more than anything else out there right now. Yeah, definitely. But it's not a perfect movie, but it's, it's one of the more charming family-friendly movies out there this year. Well, what did you guys think of the Peanuts movie? Did you like it? Did you not? Have you seen it? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you like what you've seen and want to see more, subscribe to the channel or find me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at 17 Movie Reviews. Stay sharp, movie guys and gals.